hey guys welcome to the channel my name is Evans and in today's video I just want to quickly demonstrate to you how easy and how simple it is to replace your skies in Lumino 4 so if you want to follow along with this video um, I'll leave a link down below um, it's a link from my buddy Brian he's a Lumino ambassador and he has a promo code for seven days free trial so if you want to follow along with this tutorial or you want to try out Lumino 4 take a look in the link and use that link to get your free seven day trial of Lumina 4. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and you can see I'm working on this image in Photoshop. I just opened it out. It's just a basic plain image um, of a sunset shoot that I just had recently. Uh, but up here in the sky, the sky is okay, but it's not so nice. I want to make it dramatic. I want a dramatic sky. Um, and if I want to do this in Photoshop, then I'm going to have to make a lot of selections and try to get everything perfectly done and selected, which can be a little bit tricky sometimes to do. Fortunately, Luminar 4 makes it so easy for you to replace the sky. So we're going to take this image into Luminar and replace that sky and see what we can do all right so let's duplicate the image command j in photoshop and by the way you don't have to come into photoshop to do this if you want to use lumina in standalone you can use lumina as a standalone software and you can do the same thing whether in standalone through lightroom um, plugin or through photoshop's plugin i like to go through photoshop because then you have a little more control because you can then fine tune the results and kind of kind of um brush in certain things or brush out certain things as you want within photoshop when you come back into photoshop all right so let's get started this is a layer that we just duplicated i'm gonna go to filter and down here you will see Skylum software. We're gonna to go to Lumina 4. All right, so here we are in Lumina. I'm gonna hide the looks down at the bottom here. Let me bring this up to full screen. So what we wanna do is go in the right hand tab here and then we're gonna select the creative tab right here and the first tab in the creative tab here the first two or the first section the first section in the creative tab here is the AI sky replacement and that's what we're going to use to replace this sky and try to see if we can find something dramatic so Luminac by default comes loaded with a couple of sky presets and they also sell um, bundles of sky presets that you can buy if you need more sky presets uh, but you can also go out and take your own sky images and bring them into Lumina and use them as well all right so let's go in here and just try some of the built-in sky um, let's try this one the first one blue sky and if i select blue sky as you can see lumina automatically replaces that sky and if you look down here at the horizon you can see that it's done quite a good job of blending everything in but this sky doesn't really match this scene so let's go around and play around a little bit i'm going to maybe take dramatic sky one this is okay, but still not what I like. Let me go down and see some of the sunset ones. Or let's see Dramatic Sky 3. Right. It's okay, but not what I want. So let me try this um, sunset number 3. Let's see. Right. That's also beautiful. If we want, you can use that. Um, let me try a few more just to get us there you know see what other options are here this is okay not too dramatic but i like it um, let me play around and maybe i'll select this one so the dramatic sunset one i think i like this one more for the scene because the tones and the color seems to match a lot better um the one thing that you need to know is that we're going to go through some of these options here and then you can take a look and see how this works so once you have the sky replacement you see how 
quick it is you can zoom in and you can check to make sure that your horizon and everything is blending fine and nicely uh, if you want to adjust the blending of the horizon you can use this slider right here and as i shift it up you can see the changes happening in the horizon here um, and you're blending in the original horizon with the sky replacements one um 20 there about seems okay and seems work for me most of the time um so not really much there that's fine the hor horizon position you can use that to position your horizon so if i bring it all the way up you see how the horizon is up in the sky um and it's not really matching in at the bottom here so you can bring that down uh, but most of the time lumina does a good job on its own just figuring out the horizon uh you can play around with it as well and adjust it if you need to move the horizon up and down the red light scene here basically what it does is tries to match the sky to the existing image as much as possible as you can see as i bring the slider up it is relighting the whole scene and trying to match them better um, that's what the real light scene does so maybe i'll bring it up somewhere here and leave it there the sky global is making adjustments to the sky and trying to match the sky a lot better so if you can see look somewhere around the wall the, the building here as i bring up the sky global you can see it affecting that section there and trying to blend in things properly within the sky right so that's what the sky global does let's take a look at the advanced settings so close gap um, usually when you sometimes when you replace the sky you will see that there is gaps in between the horizon area here especially if you have bushes and, and trees and stuff and you can use that close gap slider here to try to blend in that horizon a lot better and close in all the gaps that may exist in there right the sky local um it's basically the same thing you're just trying to improve the blending of the skies most of the time lumina does a good job and you don't need to really do the sky defocus here allows you to blur the sky after you've replaced it so for example if you shot a long exposure or you shot with a wide open aperture and you want to match the sky's blurriness to the original image you can bring out and and use the slider here to kind of defocus or blur out some of the sky elements as you can see here uh, for this image i shot it at around f11 so this is good enough i'm not gonna blur out the sky uh, you can also use this button here to flip the sky as you can see so you can play around with it and i think i like it flipped um so i'll leave it flipped for now the atmospheric haze will add some sort of mist of, of to the sky just like that and you can also adjust the temperature of the sky so you can cool it down you can warm it up right just like that just like using a temperature slider so i'm going to warm up this guy just a little bit and then the sky exposure you can brighten or you can darken this guy and that's just the other settings that you comes with uh for the sky replacement in lumina and as you can see with a few clicks we've kind of brought in this image and we've replaced the sky and we've made it blended a lot more and you can now go back and apply this image or uh, close out this image save it and get back into photoshop so if i click this apply button it's going to save out that image and return us back into photoshop and if you want you can continue to edit the image from there and process it further so most of the time i prefer to do my sky replacements before i edit and color grade the image um so that is where we are so if i turn this layer off this is what we took into lumina and this is what we've come back with all right guys that's it this is how you can simply and easily replace the sky in lumina 4 if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel and as usual don't forget to keep creating and stay blessed i will see you in the next video